Hi there, I'm Martha Ferguson. I'm an artist from Morgantown, West Virginia. I work, uh, do a little bit of pottery, printmaking, metals, and fiber art. Uh, sometimes I even combine them. And today I'm gonna show you how I combine pottery and metalwork to make jewelry, uh, as well as um, we might look at some other ideas. So let's go see my studio. So just to talk about a little bit about um, the ceramic studio, this right here is my pottery wheel. And this is a table where I roll out slabs. Um, you can see some of my little pots there. Um, so if I'm making jewelry, oftentimes I'll roll out slabs um, on top of the surface and then cut the shapes out. And then this over here is this is a kiln this is where um i put my pottery pieces into fire and harden up um and get strong and then here are some of my pots this is my glazing table uh, as you can see this is i have some earrings there that are waiting to be glazed um this is where all the color is added. So um, sometimes I use under glazes and sometimes I use glazes uh, to um, make different colors on the earrings. Um, and then after my earrings have been fired back over in the kiln, uh, then I take them upstairs to do the metal work. So we'll head up there. So this is how my argentium silver wire comes and I have to cut it to be the right length for the ear wires. So let me open this up and I'll show you what it looks like. So here are the ceramic pieces that I'm going to turn into earrings. I'm going to take these, they've already been um, fired in the kiln. Uh, I, gla I used underglaze and some glaze uh, and then fired in the kiln to make them nice and hard. And then I'm going to take these, um, I'm going to make some ear wires for them. That's the earring part. That's what makes them an earring. And I make them, you can buy them, but I make them out of Argentium silver. Uh, it's a higher quality than typically what you would buy at... Michael's, um, it's actual silver, and it's a lot cheaper if I make them than if I buy them online. There's a place I can buy them online, but it's a lot cheaper if I make them. So I make them, and I'll show you how I do it. All right, let's get started. Here's what it looks like. It's just a really long piece of silver, and I need to cut it um, to about the right length. Oh, if, if you can see that. So that it'll be about the right size for an ear wire. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, I cut my two pieces using these wire cutters. And now I'm going to make a little kind of, let's see. If you can see how the end is a little, has like almost like a little ball of silver on the end. So I'm going to heat it up with a brulee torch. Um, and it will just, the silver will kind of melt and ball up on itself. This is my brulee torch. Um, it has uh, some fuel in it. And if you have one of these at home, I would not do this. <laughs> because I went to a class that was... Uh, very long class and I learned how to use it so don't do this this is fire um, but I have this is called fire brick that this is on and it withstands heat and then I don't know if you can see my little ear wires here um, but I'm gonna use this brulee torch it's the same that um, 
brulee torch that you would use to uh, make the top crispy of creme brulee if you've ever had that dessert. Um, and I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to heat up the end and as soon as I see it bowl up, I'm going to stop it because I don't want it to melt too much. So I'm just kind of rounding out the ends. And then I turn my torch off and the ends are very hot so I have to um, use some pliers and then I usually go dip these in water um, to cool them off because they'll cool off very quickly in water. All right these um, these are the tools that I use to round the ear wires and shape them um, as you can see they have different um, different roundness, roundnesses, diameters, um, and that's to help with different shapes. So I'm going to take my ear wires and I like to do them together so they have the same shape and I'm going to bend them uh, so that they will become more of a earring shape. So I'm bending them that way. And I'm going to take a thicker um, part and bend them around the thicker part. Actually, I might do them thicker. Let's see, I'm going to bend them around. I'm trying to get them almost the same shape. So I'm going to work on those shapes for a little bit and then um, I'll show you the finished product. So here is the finished ear wire and now I can put uh, the ceramic piece on it so let me do that uh, here I have the ooh, earrings um, at this point they're not quite finished I still need to polish them up but that's the basic gist of it and I'll show you what they look like on so here they are, um, and I sometimes like to have a silver circle kind of in between the ear wire and the ceramic part. Uh, so I'll show you how I do that. Um, I use the same Argentium silver and um, kind of form a circle, and then I have to fuse that fuse the ends of the circle together to make a ring and then hammer it out. So I'll show you how I do that. Yeah, these are fun. So I have a much thicker piece of Argentium silver. It, and when you say thickness, you usually use the term gauge. So this is a thicker gauge wire. And I'm going to use this little ceramic piece. And I have to put the ceramic piece on first before I fuse the silver because otherwise um, I won't be able to get it on there. So I'll show you how I fuse it here in a second. I got to kind of get these in place and then I'm going to stick it on here um, so it's kind of propped up and use the brulee torch to fire it. So I'll show you how I do that. So I have my two earrings on the fire brick. And um, I've made sure that the silver is lining up, matching up. And I'm going to use the brulee torch to hit that spot where they're, I'm trying to join them. And as soon as I see the silver melt, I have to take the heat off so I don't melt the silver too much.
So one of them did really well. <laughs> and this one joined super well. And this one, I'm not super happy with that joint. So I may go cool it off, cut it, and then refire it again. This stuff happens. All right, I'm going to try refiring this one. Let's see how it goes. That one looks so much better. <laughs> so, as you can see, it was a nice perfect circle. But as I heated up the metal anneals, uh, makes it kind of softer and so I need to reshape it and then I will hammer it out and possibly shape it some more. I'm going to use this bench block and this is a chasing hammer used for metal work. It has a flat side um, that kind of flattens out your metal. And then it has this rounded side that can add hammered texture to your metal. So I'm going to take um, the silver ring. I'm going to make sure that I don't hit my ceramic piece because that would be bad. And I'm just going to come in and start hammering the silver. And as I do that, it's kind of flattening out a little bit and it's adding texture. So I will work on that and then show you the finished product. All right, so here is the piece with the ceramic um, earring part and the silver ring and then an ear wire and I am going to put it on the ear wire and there you have <laughs> there you have the earring I'll show you what they look like done all right I'm back so here are uh here's the new earring and you can see the circle and the ceramic piece and then ear wires just like we had on the other Hearing, um, so you can get really different looks using similar techniques. So thanks for coming to visit in my studio and have fun on your artistic journey. Bye.